Today I am visiting Korea's National Art Museum, MMCA, here in Seoul. Um, I'm really excited to check out some of the modern and traditional art pieces here in the museum. And it's such a gorgeous day. We've got all the beautiful lanterns out. We're right next to the palace here. So I'm so excited to go inside and see what there is to offer. When you fly, but once again you long to take your heart back and be free. Okay, so this is the MMCA collection highlights of 2020. So must mean the best of the best that we're about to see. So it looks like we've got both traditional and contemporary artwork. So can't wait to see it. I'm actually doing a puzzle at the moment, which I bought at the Seoul Summer Palace, and it's uh, an autumn scene of um, Korean life back 100 years ago. And this kind of reminds me of that with the little, the little traditional architecture, the stone buildings, and and the and the people living their everyday lives. This is really cool. Grandfather and grandson, 1960 oil on canvas, but it looks quite, looks quite rough in texture. It's got like a granular, grainy type texture to it. Almost looks like it's made out of earth or something. And there's, if you, if you step back, it's kind of like there's six people in the shot. It's really cool. I'm guessing that's, the grandfather and that's the grandson. So it looks like this section here is talking about slightly more modern times, so between the 1960s and 70s, where there was more rapid economic growth within Korea. So saying this time was characterised by the movement away from government-sponsored exhibitions and the emergence of abstract sculpture and new explorations of traditional media. This one looks quite Western in a way, quite theatrical. She looks like she's wearing a phantom costume. <laughs> something you would see in Masquerade. This one's from 1968, Gate of the Springtime of Life. It's almost got like a slight kind of sparkle to the black, is it charcoal? ink and colour on paper. Hmm. She looks like she's a ballerina. What are these? Marbles? Water drops. Is that a photograph? No, it's paint. 
amazing. Modern art is so interesting. I don't necessarily understand it all, but I love it. It definitely makes you think. somewhere at the National Gallery of Victoria where I live. It's been great seeing some modern and traditional Korean art, all very different. Some of it is um, portraiture, other is quite abstract. So it's been really interesting seeing lots of different type of art and uh, I think people back home would really enjoy it. So thank you to MMCA for having me today. My name is Claire Lyon and I play Christine in The Phantom of the Opera. It is such an honour to be performing some of the musical numbers from Phantom here at Korea's National Art Museum, MMCA Seoul. Music and the arts play such a big role in so many people's lives, so we hope our performances here today bring you a little bit of joy during this difficult time. The first musical number that we will be presenting today is Wishing You Were Somehow Here Again. This song happens in Act Two of the show, and it is when Christine visits her father's grave, seeking a sense of comfort, guidance, and direction. You were once my one companion. You were all that mattered. You friend and father then my world was shattered wishing you were somehow here again wishing you were somehow near sometimes it seemed if I just dreamed somehow you and sculpted angels, cold and monumental, seem for you the wrong companions. You were warm and gentle.
My name is Matt Lisey, and I play Raoul in The Phantom of the Opera. This next song is called All I Ask of You, and it is a song where Raoul and Christine affirm their love for each other, and it is one of the most romantic moments in the show. No more talk of darkness, forget these wide-eyed fears. I'm here, nothing can harm you. My words will warm and calm you. Let me be your freedom. Let daylight dry your tears. I'm here with you, beside you, to guard you and to guide you. Annyeong haseyo, everybody there in Seoul. My name is Jonathan Rocksmith, and I play the Phantom in the Phantom of the Opera. 
I am used to uh, seeing audiences at the theater from the stage and interacting with people that way. So this is something brand new to me to see everybody online out there. So I'm going to wave to you behind the computer screens out there. I, I have to tell you, I have, I've never been here before at this wonderful building, the MMCA, in front of the palace as well. It's one of the most beautiful settings, and I cannot wait to get inside and see all of the beautiful representative Korean art. Because I, I must say, I'm from South Africa myself, and I love art. And so far, the Korean aesthetic is so up my alley, I can't wait. So a few people may know this. You, you might as well. We have been successfully performing at the Blue Square Theatre thanks to all those wonderful preventative measures from the wonderful country that is South Korea and the help that we've had from the government as well as the guidelines combined with the fact that everybody in Korea knows how to follow the rules, our actors included, means that we've been able to continue performing and will continue to keep performing. Uh, the fight is by no means over. We, just so that you know, as a company, we will continue to fight this until our very, very last performance and then some. But enough about all that. We're tired of hearing about COVID. We're here to talk about this beautiful show known as The Phantom of the Opera. Uh, this is our final song for today, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce it because it is the music of the night. And in this song, the Phantom has lured Christine down to his wonderful lair. Uh, so picture lots of candles on the floor around for this next song. It makes more sense of this candlelight. And I find it's one of the most beautiful ways of saying I love you when it's through song. And this is one of the ultimate songs that say, I love you, maestro. Sharpens, heightens each sensation. Darkness stirs and wakes imagination. Silently, the senses abandon their defense. Unfurls its splendor, grasp it, sense it, tremulous and tender. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. Turn your thoughts away from gold, unfeeling light, and listen to the music of the night. Close your eyes and surrender to your darkest dreams. Purge your thoughts of the life you knew before. Close your eyes, let your spirit start to
can touch me, trust me, savor each sensation. Let the dream begin, let your darker side give in to the power of the music that I write. The power of the music of the night. Take flight Help me make the music of the No It's been such an honor to perform some of our favorite numbers from Phantom here at MMCA. It's such a perfect backdrop for our show with the incredible palace across the street. It's a gorgeous day and I hear it's quite an honor for us to be doing this because this is the first time that any kind of museum in Korea has had a musical performance happen before so we're making history today. Well, I personally love uh, architecture and history, so it's been a really great day for me wandering around and seeing all the traditional architecture amongst the more modern fine art. So, yeah, it's been awesome and I can't wait to learn more and explore more. Performing outside is something I don't think I've ever done like this. I'm um, singing. We've done numbers before, actually in Seoul at Everland, but, um, but I don't know, it, it felt like we were doing little excerpts from the show and not just the song, so like I was taking in the scenery as, as I was falling in love with Claire um, during All I Ask of You. It was just a beautiful setting and, and um, yeah, let's do more theatre outside. <laughs> yeah. Performing at the MMCA um, is something I've never done before. Um, I had heard about the museum before, but the area that we were in, it was, it was like a bit of a dreamland, you know, it was, it was outside, there was grass, and in the show we're not used to seeing natural beauty, everything is inside, and as the Phantom, I'm, whenever I sing, I'm always inside and in the dark. So to be outside in the sun and have people watching right there, and just over the heads of the people, is the palace. Uh, it's, it, it's, easily the most unique experience I've had so far on this tour and uh, one that I'll cherish for a while. I'm glad we filmed it because I can always show my friends now. Well today was a really unique experience. As Matt said, it's uh, one of the first times uh, a musical has been 
um, merged with a fine art exhibition. So that was really cool. And to be performing out in the open um, at this fantastic venue, it's really exciting. I, ordinarily, I think art is, is always necessary, but I think the time that we find ourselves in now with what's going on in the world, art has never been uh, as necessary as it is. Um, all three of us are artists. And I think the best thing about art is that it doesn't matter what language it's in. It's always a universal language in itself. So uh, to, to be in a position where we can show off our artistry in a place that is so full of incredible representative Korean art, it's kind of like the marriage of, of, of two perfect worlds. I've, I've never been in a position like this. And uh, I'm thrilled that the first time was in Korea. I'm finished. OK. <laughs> I'm David Andrews Rogers. Most people just call me Dar, and I'm the music director and conductor for the Phantom of the Opera. I'm going to start by playing a little excerpt for you from Think of Me from the show. Hope you enjoy. I used to 